What up all, Darp here from Milo's Walkthroughs, continuing Assassin's Creed 3, 100% sync walkthrough. So, the Battle of Lexington and Concord. This is fun. If you don't know what that is, it's the first battle of the revolution. It was, you know, the start of American independence. If you don't know what that is, well, actually, I guess a lot of you may not know. So, never mind, I won't judge. This time. Anyway, um, this is a very, very easy part. You have plenty of time, um, especially if you hop on this horse here. Honestly, I was given plenty of time even just running on foot. First time I did this, I think I made it to them with about 15 seconds to spare. I think this time I make it to them with like a minute, but whatever. Horse is just faster. So here presents your optional objective. Keep following the little markers until you hear someone uh, screaming about their brother being taken. Head across this bridge. Air assassinate a dude from your horse because it's awesome. Just take out these four guards here. And you'll be good. Boom. Done. Hop back on your horse. And off we ride. Like I said, on foot, I was given, or I made it, I completed this with about 15 seconds left to spare. So, on horseback, I think I do it in like a minute. Or I have like a minute left. Yeah, that's looking about right. Alright, so we'll trigger another cutscene here. And then we get to start the actual battle. So just position yourself behind this middle group of guys. And you have to kind of command three groups of militia. It's, it's not hard, it's just kind of annoying. Having to run around, having to run back and forth. But it's not difficult and it's never really frustrating. Your only optional objective is kill... Um, seven groups with seven rounds, basically. So every time you fire, kill everyone in the um, in a group. You have to do that seven times. It's very easy to do, and you're given plenty of chances. So even if you mess up once or twice, you you'll be fine. Easiest thing is just wait until the redcoats stop. And you'll see them start to aim, and that's when you give the order. And it gives you guys the perfect timing for taking them out. So I can see, I think I do the first seven groups entirely. So it's really pretty simple. Once you knock out the um, the seven groups, all you gotta do is just kinda keep an eye on your radar, see where the red coats are coming from, and just get your men to attack. I mean, there's no, there's not really a pattern, and there's no way to keep red coats from just piling up. Cause they end up, you'll have two or three, I, I don't know what they're called, I guess groups of red coats together at a time. Like you can see, there's already a group on the beach over here on the right side. With another group on way, they, they pile up, but as long as you're just kind of keeping an eye on everyone, kind of spread your time evenly among all three guys, and you shouldn't really have an issue with this part. So uh, I will leave you to enjoy the rest of the video. And as always, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know. I will be glad to answer any that I can. So, enjoy it. Peace out, y'all. Make ready. Wait for the signal. Fire! Hold fire. Prepare yourselves. 
Fire now! Wait for the signal! <laughs> 